You're a cop, you're a damn good cop. Stay in the city with the media. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Definition of insanity is. Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with more Harley Quinn. Season 2 is here. I'm so excited for this show. Like, the first season is literally the funniest thing I'd seen in a long ass time. Um, so, let's just get straight into it. Uh, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing, drop a like, Patreon links down below, blah, blah, blah. Let's get in. My fellow Americans, it's been decades since Gotham City once exemplified American prosperity. But one week ago, it hit the point of no return. I literally can't believe that they did this, like, at all. Like, Batman is missing, potentially, or well, he's definitely not dead. Joker, I'm assuming, is, is a normal human now, and they've destroyed Gotham, so we're getting new Gotham. <laughs> Mad Max style. God bless the United States of America, and God help. Gotham City. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yes! So we're going with No Man's Land. I like that. I am super hyped. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the other arm then? Oh, okay. Oh, that's amazing. I got a treat for you. Now, Bud and Lou, don't you fight. <laughs> One for each of you. And for my big babies, I brought dinner. Whoa, whoa, Wait, whoa, what? Whoa. What? Those beasts get steak, and we gotta eat this guy? Can we live in a mall <laughs> or a zoo? I like to think of it as both. It's got a llama. Gotham is yours for the taking. I am having a blast. This is what I've always wanted. I have anarchy and sushi. <laughs> So she's definitely won then, hasn't she? I mean, Batman's been defeated. Joke has gone. No man's land. So she's 100% in charge. Obviously, that's going to change. But this is cool, man. She got exactly what she wanted when she left the joke aside from the first season to, to stand on her own two feet and do her own thing. <laughs> I, the best part of living in an apocalyptic wasteland is no one's in charge. Whoa! <laughs> it's chaos, baby. It's like Nam after the U.S. pulled out. I don't think it's exactly that, but it is pretty awesome. Hey, you're on Penguin Turf. Get the hell out of here. What the hell are you talking about? Penguin called dibs on the mall. Uh, we've been chilling at the mall for like ever. So, obviously, in the trailer, they showed you a map and like everyone's got this massive chunk of land. And I'm pretty sure Harley Quinn's got like a tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> and she did all the work. Well, I mean, technically the joke I did, but it was because of Harley why the joke I did it. You go back to the penguin and tell him to go screw himself. Light on the right. I'm watching my figure. He only ate one of them, so he is clearly doing something about his 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 uh, figure. <laughs> this show's mint. Listen up, goons. Excuse me. I identify as a hand. Listen up, goons. <laughs> Get on the floor. Phil, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, hi, hey, I'm Steven. I, I'm the shift manager. Uh, uh, citizens of New Gotham, riddle me this. Citizens of New Gotham. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Who is this Craig you speak of? I am the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor. <laughs> here. Your door is inoperable. It's a. I'm not sure I like his hair. Is that Mohawk? Paul, oh, my bad. This guy. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. We need structure, right, fellas? We can't run organized crime. Uh, I'm not in organized crime. I'm actually trying to find a cure for my wife's terminal illness. And how are you funding that? Uh, through organized crime. <laughs> exactly. Which we can't do with Harley leading this insurrection. Yeah, I'm not sure I like his, his hair at all, to be to be fair. I mean, it's a tiny, tiny issue, because I think the character looks cool, the design is cool. I'm just not sure why he would do that to his hair. Like, he's... Was he, like, a emo before he became Mr. Freeze? I mean, he was a doctor, so I, I don't know. Moving on. We need to get her on board and get our goons back. Uh, one note, one small note. Maybe we should have invited her to this. Why can't we all just be friends? <laughs> 
Oh, there's Jim. Jim is B. Come on, come on. I know you're out there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He's back already. Oh, that is hilarious. I love it. That is fantastic. I was like, he's back already, and but nope, it's 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 baby Robin. The leather Robin signal. Get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Will you stop shooing me. Batman is missing. <clears throat> what? He was in the Joker Tower when he <laughs> fell. And I haven't heard from him since. Oh my god. Did you try texting him? Of course I tried texting him. What am I, 40? Of course. Could you share that contact info with me? Yeah. Batman. I'm Batman. Don't touch the porky pain. I got the last fresh ginger in Gotham just like you have. Ginger! Ginger! Huzzah! I've missed Clayface. Oh, he's, he's such a good character. He's so... Obviously, he's like a big villain in, in the animated series and stuff like that. But in this, he's just such light-hearted fun. I, I love his character. He's just brilliant. Hey, I had to fight five new question-based villains. Uh, <laughs> is it congratulations? I stopped all the villains by liberating the goons. Pearls, this was your chance to control the city. But now instead of like five big assholes trying to run Gotham, we've got a thousand little assholes to deal with. <laughs> yes, the inaugural meeting of the Injustice League. What is the, the Injustice League? League? <laughs> I believe it is a play on Justice League. Boy, we'll but more injustice! <laughs> you, new Gotham. There it is. So that tiny, tiny little square is Harley Quinn's. How come the Riddler, the Riddler, or is it the Penguin? The Riddler seems to have the most there. I would definitely would have thought maybe Two-Face or Bane would have had the most. Another table gets it. I'm still on a goddamn folding chair. Jesus, <laughs> dang. We all thought it would be funny if we gave you a folding chair and we were right. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> He's talking. <laughs> I didn't get it for a second. <laughs> it's because his voice is so quiet and hidden behind that mask. I was just like, what? And then I saw his mouth move. That's hilarious shit. Oh, God. <laughs> the whole world's going to hell. <laughs> and Cheryl. Power. I mean, my God, there's only coconut flavored sparkling water in the vending machine. Oh God, nobody wants to drink that. Oh, Cheryl. Cheryl. I kind of like it. You, you're kind of crazy, <laughs> Cheryl. Chaos fills the streets. We're still Gotham's finest. We I mean, even if there was only coconut water right now, and the world is literally on its knees right now, I still wouldn't drink that shit. It is disgusting. <laughs> The guy died. He's lying there. He died of thirst. There's so much coconut water. It was worth it. It was worth it, Mike. Now let's clean up this body. <laughs> why, am I, why am I making a scenario in which I've died and the guy called Mike is clean? Let's just move on. It's been a stri What day is it? Take it over this police department. Like cheese balls you are. You don't have the authority. Anybody else itching to get shot in their privates? I would love more if there was like a two... Like a two-way conversation between um, Two Face. Like they could have had some real comedy there, where like obviously there's the crazy side, and then there could be like the the other side. And I think that would have made for some good comedy. But it just seems that like the evil side of Two Face is just always going to uh, to take the the lead, at least so far anyway. But I think it would have been fun if they had have done that. It definitely would have made far more entertaining Two Face. He's just straightforward in this and in the comics that i've read personally he hasn't been he's toyed with that side of himself and i mean he's always went to the dark side of, of course but he, he's, he's had that back and forth with himself and i enjoyed that character because of that so it's it's not bad it's still good it's just it could have been a bit better personally anyway 
You're a cop, you're a damn good cop. Say you're in the city with the major. And you're a damn cop. You're a damn good cop. Ba, ba, ba. Mr. Penguin? How you doing today, Mr. Penguin? Fine. How you doing today, Mr. Penguin? <laughs> Sex upstairs later. <laughs> The penguin. Mr. Penguin, good to see you. Okay, that's too many people saying hello to me. It feels disingenuous. <laughs> ah, I actually managed. That poor guy, he just loves his job. He's just doing doing what whatever it is he does, and the penguin just straight up cold shoots him because too many people said hello. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh oh. It was never going to go easy though, was it? It's a Harley Quinn show. Nothing's ever easy. Stop them! We gotta make this extraction as gentle as possible, okay? We can't rattle her because her life is in the balance, okay? Look what you made me do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I have Harley Quinn. How are you feeling? Get me the fuck out of this! <laughs> <laughs> As long as he doesn't turn into that robot car thing again, I'm good. Because that shit was creepy, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. A swinging arm. Oh, did you see his kneecaps there? <laughs> Karate Kid reference. Uh oh. Thankfully, nature has graced us with a solution to the Harley Quinn problem. Survival of the fittest. Oh shit! Oh my god, you're a bit of clean off. Jesus Christ. I love how it was tiny before with a blade, but now it's big enough to shoot rockets out of. Holy shit, did she just kill the fucking penguin? Holy shit. That is insane. I can't believe... I, I thought she was going to beat him up. I did not think she was going to stick him and... Fuck me, he's dead? Can we go get coffee? Oh, uh... Wh whatever you want, you're the boss. Yeah, we pulled him from the Joker Tower rubble months ago. He's been in a coma ever since. The swelling should have gone down. Let me just... Oh my god. Oh my god, he's... Bruce Wayne. Shit, okay, so he's legit in a coma then. Wow, um, strong first episode, I really liked it. I like that we're getting No Man's Land. Like, that, that, that's a cool story in, of its, in and of itself. Um, I was kind of thinking that um, Commissioner Gordon was going to take up the mantle of the bat. I know he has recently in one of the um, comic arcs that I haven't read. And he's wearing like a mech Batman suit. So I kind of thought that they were going to go that way. And then when... Um, baby Robin, as I call him, Damien turned up in the bat suit. I thought, oh well, Batman's just back. He's come back, but it was Baby Robin, as I said. Um, this episode was super fun. I'm so glad it's back. I was so late to the first series that I was bummed at the thought of getting it finished. Um, because it it did so well on the channel, like people really responded to it. And I'm so grateful for that, so thank you very much. Um, and then when they announced that it was coming back in April, and I had just finished episode 12, um, like, I was super hyped, because it wasn't that long of a wait, which is brilliant. Given the, the time we're in now, I think we we'll all need to have a laugh, we we'll all need to have some fun. So that's why I've been keeping it lighthearted on the channel. Um, I usually do Supernatural, but I just haven't found the time to do it. So I'm just doing stuff like Archer, the Venture Brothers, and Harley Quinn. Um, because I think the world needs some laughter right now. <laughs> and I love these shows, and it, and it also helps with my anxiety with regarding to what the fuck is going on. Um, like I said, it's a scary time. But this episode was brilliant. It was super good. Um, I wouldn't say it was the strongest season opener. It wasn't hilarious uh, there was some funny moments um 
but I do think it was a good episode. I want an episode that is literally based around Clayface because he's my favourite character out of like Harley's group. I think he's hilarious. Um, and I want more Jim. I want a Jim centric episode. I understand that this they had more Jim in this, but I want like an episode just all based around Jim. Um, I think that would be quite cool because he's just so unhinged brilliant um obviously we're going to get batman back in some form i don't know when it'll be but i'm excited for that because i do think batman is a good character in this show um and the joker i mean we've got nothing uh, teased about the joker which i think is good obviously he's going to come back because who doesn't want the joker to come back um holly killing the penguin i'm assuming he's dead anyway um, that was that. Um, that was amazing. I didn't expect that in the very first episode. I thought she would have beat him and just left him because that's kind of what they do in these shows. Um, but obviously Harley Quinn is not messing around, and she just straight up shanked a motherfucker, just put a blade in his neck and let him die, which I think is amazing. Obviously, she can't do that to every single villain because in season three, if we do get it, fingers crossed, um, we wouldn't have any villains left. Um, but. I think it was quite a bold move to just immediately start the season by murdering the Penguin. I think it was really, really good. Um, I love Harley and Ivy. I think they've got a great dynamic. But I want Kite Man back because I love Kite Man and Ivy's relationship. It's brilliant. Ivy boop baby. <laughs> I just I like saying that. Um... But yeah, this episode was really good. I enjoyed it, and I'm excited for next week. So obviously, like I did with the last ones, I'll I'll do an episode um, every time it comes out. Um, so thank you very much for watching. This this was a strong ish opening. Uh, I, th I think it could have been funnier, but it did kill uh, the the penguin. And I think that was a bold move. So I'm excited to see what happens in the next episode. But if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. Drop a like. Uh, the Patreon link's down below if you want to throw in a, a book. I mean, it's it, it, you don't have to. I understand it's a crazy time right now. Uh, and if you don't want to do that, just just drop a like and leave a comment. Because I love replying to people's comments. Um, I'm also on Twitter, at the Geordie Nerd, if you want to follow along there. Uh, I post little clips from the shows that I do on there. That might not necessarily make it into the videos. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again soon for more Harley Quinn reaction videos.